Welcome to Electron Line, and in this video, let's talk a little bit more about chords. What is a chord? A chord is a line or a line segment that runs from one edge of the circle to another edge of the circle, or from one point on the circle to another point on the circle. And the chord can go through the center of the circle. If it does, then it also is the diameter of the circle. It doesn't have to go to the center. Now, the distance from a point to a line is defined as the shortest distance from the point of the line, which means if you draw a line from the point to the line in, of interest, then those two lines must reach one another perpendicular to one another, and so this is then determined to be the distance from the point to that line. If we use the same theory to go and consider the distance from the center of the circle to the chord, we do the same thing. We draw a line from the point to the chord in such a way that it reaches there perpendicular to that chord. And so this is perpendicular here, 9 degree angles, which means that this then becomes the distance from the center of the circle to the chord. Now that is a useful thing to know because if, for example, we have two chords, and the two chords are equidistant from the center. In other words, if I draw a line from the center to this chord, and I draw a line from the center to this chord, and this distance right here is equal to this distance right here, we can then conclude that those two chords must be congruent. Well, congruent means that they must be the same length. And that's a good theory to know. So if you have a situation where you have two chords inside a circle, those two chords are the same distance away from the center, which means the point, the distance from the center to the chord, and when that distance reaches the chord perpendicular to the chord, then we can say the two chords are congruent to one another. And that is a good thing to know in geometry. That's how we do that.